there's an old lady living there? Yeah. There's a lodge house, big place, up in the trees there. Can't quite see it now. And the dogs are for what, protection? That's what the signs say. But why? Who is she? Don't know. She's been there for years, long before me. Whoever she is, she ain't a caretaker or anything like that. Everything's really run down. You see her about twice a year, spring and fall, when she comes into St. Martin for supplies. She doesn't talk, won't even look at you. It's like she's in another world. Humongous is a 1982 Canadian mountain man slasher that features some creative flair and memorable moments. It's an early 80s slasher that manages to be entertaining despite its flawed presentation. In the 1940s, a woman is raped on her island during a dinner party. The rapist is soon killed by her trained dogs. The woman gives birth to a deformed baby that grows up to be a murderous protector of the island. A group of shipwrecked teens find themselves trapped on the island and are killed off one by one by the humongous killer. It's all over, Eric. This is it. 175 pounds of bullshit wiped out with one little squeeze. Just one little squeeze. Go find someone else to play with, Nikki. Bye-bye. You goddamn moron! You pointed a load of gun at me! I told you, I don't fool around. Humongous was directed by Paul Lynch, who directed the early 80s slasher Prom Night. Lynch manages to create some atmospheric moments, and there are some clever and creative shots, but the film features all the cliches of the genre, for better or for worse. On a technical level, the film is underlit, which makes it hard to see the horror or action that's taking place. I can only imagine how frustrating this must have been to watch in a VHS presentation. The film has decent production values and opens rather dark and disturbing with a graphic rape scene before settling into its more cheesy and cliched slasher aesthetics. Oh. You just blew it, Donna. This was your last chance at this bed. An historic occasion. Yeah, right, Nick. Everything with you is an historic occasion. Well, maybe you'd have come. That had been an historic occasion. The cast is average for this kind of film. All the characters are extremely unlikable for the most part, and they all seem to hate each other often being rude to one another or constantly fighting. There's some humorously bad dialogue in the film that I enjoyed. The movie's teens are highly disposable. There's a decent amount of eye candy on display, the majority of which comes from Joy Bochel, who genre fans may recognize from Cronenberg's The Fly. It's got a Friday the 13th Part 2 vibe about it, with the killer being a deformed hillbilly with long hair, and the heroine dressing up and pretending to be the slasher's deceased mother to trick him into letting her live. The deformed humongous killer is kept in the shadows for the majority of the runtime. When he is finally revealed, it isn't that scary or awe-inspiring. There are some nicely edited moments throughout the film, and a dark sense of humor pops up occasionally. The gore isn't over the top, but there are a few bloody deaths. The film moves along at a decent pace, and I did enjoy it as an early 80s slasher. The setting of an island was somewhat original, and it did add some flavor to a rather repetitious slasher flick. The biggest turnoff for me concerning Humongous is the bad lighting. Humongous is not an unsung classic, but if you want to watch an obscure slasher this October, you could do far worse. Well, unlike some people, I'm not ashamed of my body. Mm -hmm. From a distance, I could hardly see your stretch marks. 